Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use neural nets for trading. Now I'm gonna be back testing and going through an example, and this will show you how to set things up. We're gonna start off by requiring some packages here. Now in the first block, I'm gonna be getting data from Yahoo Finance and creating a signal. I'm gonna be reading in the SPY ETF. We're gonna assign it into stock data. I'm gonna calculate daily returns. And for the signal that I'm trying to predict are the days where this ETF closed above 1%. We're gonna check and see if the neural nets can predict if this ETF will close above 1% the following day. So after I add in my signal, I need to set it back one period so that we can forecast the actual day where we had that 1% move. For the predictors, I'm gonna be using the volatility, the RSI, the difference between a fast moving average and a slow one. And I'm going to also include the relative volume, which is just the current volume over the average volume the last 20 days. And then I'll go ahead and remove any NAs. So let's go ahead and run this block. We'll take a look at stock data. We're gonna pass in these last five columns and we're gonna use the last four to see if it could predict a 1% move. As we see, we have a one here for 228 and we had a 1% move the following day. So back in our R script, I'm gonna go ahead and subset our data. And we're also going to normalize the data. As I mentioned, the last four columns are gonna be used as the features or the predictors. And we're trying to predict the actual signal. We need to normalize these four columns and return these as a data frame. And afterwards, I'm just gonna add the signal to my normalized data. I also need to split my data into a training data set and a testing data set so that we don't overfit and I'm gonna be using 80% for training and 20% for testing. So let's go ahead and run this block. Now we're gonna use neural nets to try to predict the signal using all other columns in my training data set. Here's where you can play around with the hidden layers to generate different outcomes and see if the predictions get closer and are more accurate. We're gonna save that outcome into our model and we're gonna use predict to see how well it predicted the signals on our test data set. So I'll run this block here. And we're also gonna go ahead and plot the model. So here we see the nodes for the neural net going from our features all the way to our signal. And it's my understanding that the numbers highlighted in blue are the weights given to predict the signal. Now we're gonna take a look at how well the predictions fit with the actual results in our test data set. For the last chunk, I'm gonna be taking in our predictions. And if my predictions have a score greater than a 0.8, I'll consider that a long signal for the following day. Otherwise, I'll just assign it a zero and take no action. I'm gonna assign that prediction into my test data set. We're gonna create a confusion matrix to see how well it was able to predict these 1% moves. I'll go ahead and run this chunk. According to this matrix, the neural nets gave 235 instances where it said not to trade or no signal, which were accurate. So I'm looking at the zero and zero. It returned zero cases where it gave a signal to trade and it was true. It gave three instances of trades, but the actual outcome was a no trade and 76 instances where it told us not to trade, but the outcome was an actual one or to trade. So the no signal accuracy was 0.74. The yes signal accuracy was zero. My predictors were not useful at all in order to predict SPY moves greater than 1% the following day. Well guys, this concludes the video. I hope this script serves as a template to backtest your own trading strategies. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.